Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a very exciting Chanel unboxing. I have a handbag inside and I am excited to start using it and reveal it to you guys. Um, but before I dive into the unboxing, if you are new to my channel and you love all things luxury, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button below and also the bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. I do my very best to upload twice a week. I'll always have a weekend upload, but I might upload middle of the week as well. All right. Um, Diving right in, time is limited today. Um, I think my son is due to go down for a nap. So we're gonna unbox this and then we're gonna have a chat about where I got it from, why I chose it and all that sort of thing. Um, it is a wish list bag, I would say. Um, I feel as though, yeah, I, I had this on my wish list, but maybe not in the size that um, you were expecting. But yeah, anyways, have a guess, have a guess, give it a go, guess what you think is in this box here. What Chanel handbag did I get? Better yet, you're more than welcome to guess what exact size I ended up going for, because like I said, this was on my wish list, but I don't think I specified that I wanted this size. Uh, yeah, let me just open it up. Let me open it up and then we shall have a bit of a chat. So this bag is brand new, it's not from within Australia and it's usually the same old reason, kind of like a broken record that um, in Australia we don't get much stock. So we have the Chanel booklet and it also has the uh, serial card in, I'm not going to show you the number but yeah there's a serial card inside and then over here we have, my dog is just one of my dogs, I have two dogs, but my corgi, the male corgi, always loves to sit on this chair. Also inside we have the cleaning glove to buff and buff your bag to shine, especially if you have a lambskin. And the receipt, so I'm not going to show you what's on there because it does have the person's details, but yeah, that's the receipt from Chanel in Hong Kong. And then we also have, I think this is the care booklet as well, I'm pretty sure. The other booklet is probably more so to do with um, classic handbags. So I think that if you haven't already guessed, that's going to be a dead giveaway that it comes with the classic handbag booklet. Now this dust bag, again, is a part of the classic handbag range. So when you do buy a classic handbag, this is the kind of dust bag that you will get. So lo and behold, revealing my brand new classic flap in the size medium. This is the size medium and it is in the 21S which is color code NC022. But yeah, this is from spring summer this year, 2021, the lilac undertone, ro it's, it's called Rose Claire, but it's got a lilac undertone. So that's why I said the color code, because when it comes to Chanel, it is actually better to distinguish colors based on the color code and also the season as well. So. Um, on the end of the Chanel receipts, you will see um, at the very end of the line item, it'll have the color code. But yeah, this is color code NC022, medium classic flap, brand new. I bought this from someone who was selling it from their personal collection, someone that I follow on Instagram. And she sold it because she ended up getting the small size and she's much more of a fan of the small size. Whereas me, I really like the medium classic flap. I definitely would go a small classic flap and I definitely want a mini rectangular as well. However, I just love the medium classic flap too. So yeah, I think that this is an amazing size. So this is actually in caviar leather, which is what I prefer for the classic flap. I just prefer caviar. I mean, I'm okay with the mini rectangular in lambskin, but for you know, the small and the medium classic flap, I do prefer caviar. I do find that it's more carefree. Even though I absolutely love lambskin, I think it looks very luxurious. I must admit that the firmness and that pebbled grain to caviar just does give me more peace of mind. I'll give you a quick rundown of the bag, but I'm sure that you guys are very familiar. So you've got that little love note section at the top, the double flap, the double flap helps it to hold structure anyway. 
and then that's the inside. So the bag is brand new. The retail price on the medium classic flap in Australia is $10,800, um, but Hong Kong, the retail price is actually less. So I ended up paying just a little bit below the Australian retail price. And that is including having paid with PayPal goods and services because it was the first time I ever bought from this person. I just wanted that peace of mind to pay with PayPal uh, goods and services. I also got the bag authenticated beforehand as well. So I got it done with real authentication and then they confirmed it was authentic. So I was like, yep, let's go ahead. Um, I do have a $5 referral code for real authentication. It's not an affiliate code, it's just a referral code. So I'll put it on the screen and in the description bar. But I always, always say that you should get your bags authenticated when you are not buying from the store because you just don't want to end up with a fake. You don't want to be in that situation. I've been there and I've done that before and I had very big lesson learnt from it. Well, I suppose I got my money back, but still, like, you just don't want to have the stress. So I always recommend get your bags authenticated first whenever you're not buying from the store. But yeah, the Hong Kong retail price is a lot less than Australia. So she ended up making a profit on selling this bag. Um, I ended up paying less than retail. So it's a win-win for the both of us. Very, very happy that I got it. Love this 21S color. However, I do also want the uh, 21C color, which is color code NA116. So that's like a neutrally kind of blush pink. I really want that as well. However, that is from quite a few seasons ago. However, if you guys know anyone who is selling a small classic flap in the 21C Rose Claire, color code NA116, please drop me a DM on Instagram and let me know because I do want to get that bag. However, I don't want to pay a premium for it. So I would only pay re my retail price. That's pre preferably what I would be okay with doing. I am looking for that as well. I do really want to get that. However, um, I love the 21S, so I knew that no matter what, I was gonna end up with this bag, but I also still wanna get the 21C as well. So the reason I went for the medium rather than a small classic flap, um, one was that the price ended up being less than the retail, so I see that as a good deal. And the other thing is that the medium does hold a decent amount compared to the small. There is a difference in the capacity and it's already a small bag. So I just didn't wanna be fiddling around, trying to you know, play Tetris with my items and that sort of thing. So that's why I ended up going for the medium. I also think that the medium really does suit me anyway. Um, the only downfall is that the medium, when you wear it crossbody, it does sit up a bit higher than what it would on the small. So that's probably the only downside. However, I don't really intend on wearing this crossbody anyway. It'll just be like on the shoulder. Uh, but yeah, that is it. Beautiful lilac undertone. Um, I can hear my son. So I am gonna have to wrap up this video, but that is it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.